Welcome to Marriac Firmax's tutorials on building. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Episode 8 Building Stable Tall Structures After the Golden Update. So, my standard for building when I talk about volumes and sizes is the adamant block. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, stout block. The adamant stout block. And that is one by one by one. It's half the size of a dwarf. Four tall make a room or, or a normal size ceiling. <clears throat> they adamant now locks to the corners of the square. Notice how it's locks, you know, to the corners of the square. The other two types of walls, stone and granite, lock to the grid point, the intersection of the four squares. That's important now, and a lot easier to get things to line up and click together, kind of like Legos. Uh, so, first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the amount of damage something can take. So, I have my Quarry Master pickaxe I've got my targeted wall one two three four so 200 points for stone one two three four five six seven, eight. So that's 400 points. All right, now we'll do this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so each one doubles the number of hit points. Now, the reason that's important is when you're building outside fortifications and you're going to face something like orcs, Adamant's going to protect you very well. Uh, however, against trolls, it will not hold up too bad. Uh, I mean, too well. Now, depending on this, it doesn't matter size, by the way. Notice that they break in the same amount. So each piece has a physical durability. Seven, eight. So, the differences between the materials is just hit point strength so far. Now let's, let's talk about Put up a little bit of scaffold.
All right, let's start with Adamant. So, unlike when the game originally came out, there is, doesn't seem to be a limit that I have found um, for these materials anymore. There used to be a vertical and horizontal strength for each one of the pieces and now as far as I can tell it doesn't exist also let's talk about adding uh, pieces Okay, so first thing you'll notice is for adamant, all that you have to do is touch a face and it will adhere. We went through green, we're solidly in yellow now. That's orange. So the one by three by uh, three by one by one adamant barriers. One, two. Oh, let's just count. One, two, three, four, five. You can go five before you have to worry about. losing strength. Though I am not using any mods whatsoever right now, not even my favorite two, because they are not operational in this build. Of the game as yet. But I had some fat stacks for my warehouse world that I am going to use. Oh, I did want to do the lore. I need a better weapon for this! Oh, I didn't even see this treasure chest over here. That's convenient. Oh, 
at capacity. Study danger, build more. Building costs, no ingredients. Alright, well, let's see. Let's put my, you could use one of these, I just like a slightly bigger platform to stand on. Dwarves are meant to have their feet on the ground. Alright, so that's orange. It's always best to be able to see the target, the surface of the target. Where you wind up putting a block is um, based on your perspective, which is why the G to toggle camera height is important. Okay, so those were orange. Now they're solid. Sadly yellow. That's four. That's orange. So it used to be height mattered. The higher you are, you were off the ground, the uh, less far you could go out. That no longer seems to be the case. And you see how easy it is now to, to lay very flat adjoining blocks with adamant. You don't have to overlap to lock them in, and they will stay like that indefinitely, particularly if you support the other side. Now you can always lock in a... Um, to a wall or whatever, or uh, already made pillar like the elven ones here. And you don't have to be pushed well into it anymore either. be a good example.
these don't seem to be buildable anymore. Oh. Well, I had to push in quite a bit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then this one will be red. Come on. Yep. Okay, so that is Trust me, it'll keep going. All right, let's do the same experiment. Just find a snap point. All right, we're orange. And it's five. Now you'll notice on the um, on the granite, I had to push the block in just a little bit. Let me demonstrate that again. Not quite surface touching, I think. And certainly if you Because they work on the intersection. So a lot of structural stability improvement. And I'm dying again. I always do that. 
So this is going to be the same. That one is weaker. Alright, so stone is weaker. By two. But granite and adamant have the same tensile strength. I don't work that much with stone, but that'll... <clears throat> there you go, there's that. There's all that. <clears throat> so verticality doesn't really seem to play a role anymore. You can go out five barriers for adamant and for granite, and you can go from a solid surface and three for stone. And height doesn't matter. Oh, that stood up because it's connected. Ah. Here. It's not connected to anything. Oh, I connected it to the uh, thing up there. Ah. Connections prove to be very strong now. So as long as something is touching to keep it connected, it does not seem to be a general weakness anymore when it comes to the strength of the materials being used. See, even here I put a quick platform. So to demonstrate the connections, on the ground, you'll see that the ends of these two, half width stone and granite, they're like slightly embedded into one another at the connection point. Easiest to see right there. Is adamant now instead of connecting on the center 
of the uh, block that connects at the vertice, the point. You can't touch like that, it has to be a whole face. If you do that, it will fall down. But look how nice and smooth that looks now. Six and it will explode. Oh no. Interesting. Oh, because it's not quite. Yeah. Because it was touching by a third. That's interesting. I see prey ahead. So knowing how the materials connect together is pretty important. Um, I recently have started to write a building guide and um, talked a little about a bit about the strength and how things connect, but also their size. So the f the bottom face of this is two by two, and it is two uh, two blocks high. So the volume is two by two by two. Obviously, it doesn't fill up that volume because it's slanted. But when I plot out how to assemble what I want to assemble uh, or build. I like watching it explode. It's kind of spectacular, actually. Until you've built something and then it suddenly spontaneously explodes on you. Which hasn't happened in quite a while, by the way. Uh, the build stability here has just been so much improved. And how they connect together. So much improved. Okay. You'll see this technique used one bed. Got something free. In the uh, buildings that are being built uh, in the game, the, I noticed that it's commonly. Oh, I'm on a roll. I haven't really had that proc too much. start by laying a foundational base and they don't necessarily use um, the f 
foundations that are generated when you put down a floor. In fact, in several buildings, I noticed that that is what is used. And then they outline the building with a decoration such as this. Now, because granite locks to the center, you'll notice that uh, it locks in tight, so like it's half embedded. Sometimes I wiggle them a little bit to make sure I've got a nice clean seam. See, that seam looks a little off to me. That's pretty good. Oh, Alright. So you'll see the bottom of a um, of a building. And it'll be raised like that. So see I learned a lot by watching how they built the in-game stuff um, okay you'll notice that that is perfectly flat and then a lot of times they'll take floor and I just lay it on the top hit click and then I wiggle it until it comes into a full clip Lines look perfectly straight. There's no artifacting or minimal artifacting around the edge like that one. Like that. That's not tight. Now we've got a solid foundation. You can always dress up the corners later. In my corners, I like using And I'll show you why later. All right. Now, why don't we talk a little bit about walls and such? So, I make sure that the seam on the bottom. And I did this on the edge so you can see it. There's no gap at the edge when it's touching a surface. If there is, it will provide instability, and that would be bad. 
And when you want to check, you want to look at the top and the seam. And the seam is good, the top is even. Again, that inside corner, nice and even. So you want to look at where, now, that is not good. There's a big gap there. It's not uniform. Also, Uh, you got to watch for um, gaps like this. Well, can I get it to happen? See how that's not quite even on the very top. That one probably would have been okay, but you want to get them as even, even as possible. See, that one's nice. I used to get a lot more anomalies when I would go along and um, try to do something like this and then put the piece in the center. Every piece locks into the piece adjacent, so if you want your best bet of keeping it on the square and level, you start with a nice clean foundation. things nice and tight does not look right up there. See see that? That is not correct. That is... That one's not correct. It pays to take your time. I noticed my buildings collapsed a lot less. I took my time. All right. You know, why don't we replace these? So I have a place to put stairs. So, I'm going to demonstrate something not to do. And uh, so, let's say you wanted a staircase in here. We're going to just put on this staircase. And immediately you see you're above the top. Not optimal. You want to get that as flush as you can. Can. That is flush. Okay. This is going to sound counterintuitive, and this was not a practice I had before I started making an observation about the fragility of the buildings I was creating. 
So I would normally come in here and I would put down a floor. And you'll notice because everything's nice and even, the floor went down pretty well, well except for that last piece. See? Nice and flat. Okay. And then I would come over here and I'd be like, well, I want to put a wall. And then the building would fall down. Which was really annoying. And it's because... I don't know if you can see it. Let me try it over here. Or no, it won't, it won't do it. There'd be a gap. And that gap would mean that the connection wasn't as strong as it needed to be. Of course, when I want to demonstrate this, I won't be able to do it. It's locking in tight. Of course it is. Anyway, what I recommend doing now is putting in your walls first and then putting in your granite floor. Or whatever floor you plan on using. I can get it to force it to happen if I do this. Of course not. Why would it cooperate now when I want to demonstrate something? In the latest update, this got a lot easier and better. But you still have to watch out to make sure you're not... The wood's harder to line up. You can still see the seam a little bit. That's normal. I haven't been able to fix that. Anyway, watch the gaps between the surfaces, the top and bottom of where you're putting walls. Uh, and make sure that those walls are firmly fixed without gap uh, before you, uh, you keep building on top, up and up and up. did it like that see that gap that is bad do not allow that gap to stay you notice the tops are uh, a little uh, is a little off but that gap that causes instability
sometimes if you're being frustrated a little bit, it's best to change perspective. It's nice and tight. And I'm watching those upper corners. seams Sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to line up just right. That is completely normal. Based on your perspective, it tries to pick the most structurally sound, I believe, option. Notice that these walls are not a cautionary color at all once they're placed. Oh, 
Is that a gap? That looks like a gap. And you can keep going. I bet that's because I don't have enough support. Eventually, stairs do need support, which makes sense. Well, let's throw in some support real quick. Making sure there's no gap. There you go. See the color disappeared. Now well, that looks pretty flat in alignment. You do yourself a favor and put these in right now. That way you know they're touching.
Huh. That one's yellow. That's telling me there's something wrong with this one. See anything wrong? I don't see anything wrong. Those two have a gap. See, sometimes you can't see it here underneath. And they were gray, too. They were the color of the stone. Just got to be careful. still yellow for some reason.
colors don't always seem to function right. Finish this. Come on. I've never been able to build one a floor perfect, perfect, but we'll see. tallest structure I ever built was in um, the Crystal Descent. I did it from the bottom all the way to the top, which is hard because it's offset. Um, now I do notice that walls and such seem to get strength from everything they're connected to, including the ceiling. So if you can connect something to the ceiling and to the bottom and to the floor, it is incredibly sturdy. I also like, not that it's good on your neck, but I also like looking up at the gaps, checking the top corners.
also I like using solid pieces whenever I can rather than constructing these columns out of the three pieces I like the solid columns the more you seem to be able to use um, the solid pieces the less stress on your system I think when the game loads and displays that's just a supposition through observation though I don't know any of that for a fact uh, nope those are not locked in that is Sometimes I wiggle the mouse at just the wrong time as I click the button. I know a bunch of people play this with a controller. I've never been that good with a controller to do that. It's easier to get a good solid connection when you can see the edge.
I screw that up? my bear and not in here oh maybe I did trap it See you, bear. Wow, that's a lot. Can always invite Gandalf. He can move into his wizard's tower. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten so far.
And my suggestion is, if you had an old world before the golden update, and you were frustrated because of the building, things are collapsing and not working quite right, start a new world. Seems like some of the pieces were replaced. And in the old worlds, you'll see like oh, two floors, two granite floors. No. Whoa. All right. Let's try that again. they do not behave exactly the same. <clears throat> so I would highly recommend just starting a new world and building from there. Oh, you see I reached the top. And it's solid. All right, that piece is bugging me. But let's see if I can demonstrate getting stability from the top. All those were yellow, but this last one is not. So if I remove and I put these back, look at what happens. So you can get strength and stability from up. which is pretty cool. In some of my bigger builds, I was able to easily build to the top of structures and then embed far enough into the ceiling to get structure and that structure provides stability because as I said I believe that the pieces through my experience gain stability by what they're connected to and I had talked about this before that I thought it used like a matrix style math to figure out what the strength of the materials was with the support around it. And I'm on top of the world. Ooh, pretty. Okay, one, two, Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve stories. Look at that. Gandalf's 12 story tower. Not quite in dead center. But that's the basics of construction. So I hope, hope that uh, taught us all a little something. Um, how the build system changes have worked. The stability is outstanding. Uh, very exciting. Oh, I did want to demonstrate this, by the way. Probably shouldn't have done this here. That's five. gonna fall. So that's five just like before and three just like the uh, um, just like the uh, adamant barriers and the stone barriers and the granite barriers so five so the floors have the same tensile strength as the uh, barriers do Alright, well that's Mariac Furmax. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching Mariac Furmax's tutorial on building. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. Episode 8, Building Stable Tall Structures After the Golden Update.